In the beginning of the film, we are shown the future which is known as JC his name is JC in the name of a company because the same company has made them. That's why some JC humans are sent to space through a spaceship. They go to a planet, a planet and wake up from their slumber. All of them were sleeping in a chamber to come to space. Their mission to come here was to find a spaceship called Atromitos which was sent on this planet. But now they don't know where it is. There was some problem inside it. Because that spaceship has that thing which can take them to Earth and fix everything. And very soon they find that spaceship, Atromitos. But they see that there is a very big hole in it. Because of its condition, it seems that it will break soon. That's why they use all their energy to connect Atromitos with their spaceship. By which both the spaceships get connected. But when the doctor and his partner start clapping each other for this, their senior gets angry and refuses to do so. Because doing so can ruin their JC system. After which they contact the manager of the company and tell him that we have found Atromitos. And now we are able to run his computer. But yes, this computer was run three months ago. After which no news came from there and no one is answering from there. That's why we believe that all the people of Atromitos are dead. On which the manager says that if you want to do any mission to save Atromitos, then you are wasting your time. You just do this, take all the necessary things kept on Atromitos and just come back to your spaceship. And the things you have to save and bring are a chemical box. With the help of which we can fix the environment of the Earth. You have to stay there until you get it. It can take you two years to get it. Now we see one of his partner, whose name is Iris, who is taking out all the information of Atromitos on her computer. In one video, the captain of Atromitos says, thank god, we are finally getting out of here after so many obstacles. But then in the second video, the captain says that the situation here is getting worse with every passing hour. Everyone has become strange, they have come to revolt. Seeing this, his senior says that here this common man also always does something wrong. Then in the end, people like us have to fix everything. Now suddenly they start hearing loud singing from Atromitos. Till now his door was closed. As soon as his doctor partner opens it, they all come inside Atromitos with their guns. As soon as they come inside, they see some strange pictures on the walls. The singing was so loud there that they were not even able to hear each other's voice. Now a robot comes here and attacks them. This robot was made so that it can protect the spaceship. But now before it hurts them, they destroy it. Then to check this whole place, they go to different parts. The doctor sees that the black box of the spaceship has been forcibly removed from here. Black box means a box in which the information of any spaceship and its flight is kept. In addition, the ship can also be controlled. But still it somehow stops the singing going on there. They see that the trees and plants here have grown a lot. And then they find a human-like looking robot among them. It was made so that it can help people who come here on Atromitos. She then talks to them. Says that a person is still alive on Atromitos. His name is Travis. And then on searching, Iris also finds Travis. But his condition was very bad. He had big hair and he was sitting quietly. Looking at him, it seemed as if he was in a coma. After this, his senior goes on his mission. The purpose for which he came here was to find the chemical box and bring it back. But even after searching a lot, he does not find it here. Now all these people gather at one place. Everyone says that we found that chemical box everywhere. But we did not find it anywhere. Now people start finding out about Travis in their system. The scene shows that Travis is an engineer. Now after doing more research, he does not seem to know much about Travis. Now his senior tells him that Travis looks fine from the outside. But there are a lot of problems going on in his mind. Maybe this happened to him because of a big accident. Now his commander tries to talk to Travis. But he does not answer him. So that's why he gives the responsibility of Travis to Iris. Because he is a very good doctor of the mind. Now to get all the information, that robot cannot help him at all. Because all his memories have been erased like atriomitosis. Meanwhile, the doctor's friend gets a message from the company's manager. In which he was asking that have you found the chemical box? And yes, I had to tell you that you are going to be stuck here for a long time. So use your time well and start looking for the chemical box. Now Iris goes to Travis and tries to befriend him. And asks that how was the friendship between the people who had come on atriomitosis. Because staying in space for a long time can affect these things. Now Iris goes to the commander and the senior and tells him that all the questions I asked Travis, he did not answer me. But as soon as I took the name of this robot girl, there was a strange change on his face. And it is not surprising in humans that they started liking a robot. Especially when that robot looks like a human. And as we know that Travis is an engineer, it is possible that he has also changed this robot girl. According to him, what he wants, on which the senior says that now I want to examine this robot. And I want to find out what is between Travis and this robot. And what did Travis do with it? On which the commander decides that from now on I will send the robot girl to Travis for a while. Because by doing this, they can find out everything. In which they will use this robot girl as a bait. 
Now after a while, all the electricity of the spaceship goes away. And they find out that Travis has run away from here. And maybe he has also taken a gun with him. Because the gun kept there was missing. Now Iris takes the gun and goes to find Travis. She meets him, but she sees that Travis has pointed the gun at me. That's why she tries to talk to Travis lovingly. As soon as she is about to control him, then the commander comes here with the gun. And finally he puts down Travis's gun. After which Travis is made captive again. Iris tells the commander that when I was doing my work, then why did you come in between? Did you doubt me, my work, my way? The commander says that you don't use your mind too much. And just work according to the mission. Okay? When the doctor and his friend were together, the doctor's friend does a very strange thing. She takes off her jacket and says that it is so hot here without the AC. Now the doctor feels very strange by seeing his behavior. Because he is a human being, so he should not feel anything like this. Now after a while, their whole system gets fixed. Where then the company manager's message comes. In which he says that your most important mission is to find and bring that chemical box somehow. Because the rest of the things are later. Iris once again sees the paintings and pictures on the wall and goes back to Travis. This time she only talks about those paintings and pictures. After which she sends the robot girl back to Travis. She herself came to another place and was looking at them through a small camera. She sees that Travis is saying something in the ears of the robot in Mandarin. Now Iris goes to talk to her senior. Or he says that I don't remember why I came here. And this is very strange because I never forget things. Now the senior knew Mandarin, so she came to him. She then tells the senior about Travis. But because Travis was speaking very lightly, so for now she does not understand anything. That's why he says that I am not able to understand it right now. You do this, give me this recording. I will listen to it later and understand it well. After which Iris again goes to Travis to keep an eye on the robot. She then sees that my hand is shaking. So that's why before anyone can see it, she controls her hand. Now after a while when the robot comes out, Iris asks him what Travis said in your ear. In response to which the robot said that he said that we can never be one. But you are always in my mind. And now when the senior knows this, he understands that this was wrong. Because he had also heard the recording and understood that the robot is lying for some reason. But how can a robot do this? Because robots do not lie. Now everyone is talking to each other, but how can we get answers to our questions from Travis? The senior beats him and advises him to take the answer. But the commander and doctor refuse to do this. Because they will not adopt any such way in which they beat Travis. Now she tells the doctor that something has gone wrong in my bathroom. So the doctor goes to fix it. When he fixes the problem, his friend hugs him and asks him to stay with her. Their Iris was still keeping an eye on Travis. And this time Travis also speaks, but in Russian. Now before the computer can understand what he said, the atrometers start shaking. Where only then they know that the door of one place is open. That's why all the air is coming out of their spaceship. The commander sees that the doctor is coming out of his friend's room. But for the time being, he ignores this and focuses on the upcoming problem. They do not understand anything that who opened this door and that two of the luggage room. Because it is always very tightly closed. After closing the door, the doctor goes out in a rope. And the commander was holding the rope. He closes the door, but the doctor's friend starts crying. Because he felt that maybe my friend is in trouble. Now the commander comes to him safely. But the doctor also falls unconscious due to the pressure of the air. That's why the senior takes him to check him. He then tells that according to me, he is absolutely fine. He just needs a little rest. Then he will come to his normal state. After this, the commander starts scolding the doctor's friend. Because when he went to fix his bathroom, he hugged the doctor. He says that you should remember this well, that we are not ordinary people. In fact, we are human beings. Friendship, closeness, all this is not made for us. Take care of yourself. Iris asks the senior that can a robot lie? On which the senior says that yes, robots can lie. If they are programmed to give a false answer to something. Similarly, they cannot lie of their own free will. And yes, I did the test of that robot girl. But I did not get any such programming from it. Now Iris comes back to her system. So that Travis can understand what is said in the Russian language. But then the doctor's friend comes here. And tells that what Travis has said in the Russian language. This is written in a book. I don't know what Travis is thinking by giving us a life. I don't understand anything. Hearing this, Iris immediately goes to Travis. And she gives him an electric shock. She says that I think you are absolutely fine. You are just pretending to be sick. This time Travis answers this in French. Which Iris understands. Because she also knew a little bit of French. This time she again mentions someone's leg. The doctor's friend has fixed the system of atriomitosis. With which she could contact. But again the same video comes. Which had come before. Actually, these are all old recordings. 
which are coming every two hours. The commander tells her that you keep sending messages on the ground. Until no answer comes. Seeing this, she starts crying. On which the commander scolds her again. What are you doing? Why are you crying? Now at the same time, the doctor also comes here. Seeing this, her friend hugs her. Now looking at them like this, the commander scolds them again. Says that all this happened because of you two. If you two had not been together that day, then you would have found out that the door of the room with the luggage is open. And we don't have to see all this. So stop sticking and stay away from each other. Because because of the mistake of both of you, we were all going to die. He then tells the doctor's friend that you do one thing first. You go to the senior to get your checkup done. After all, why are you getting so emotional? He then tells the doctor that even after a lot of effort, information is not available. I don't know where the information has gone. The senior is checking the doctor's friend. But she doesn't get any problem. She then asks the senior that you are feeling something strange these days. Although the senior is feeling strange. But despite this, he answers no. Here Iris Travis is checking what was said in French. After which she looks at the pictures and paintings on the wall. Here she understands the hidden message. She also looks at the old information. Now the commander comes to her to ask. What information have you got so far? On which Iris tells that Atromitos was never in danger. Before our arrival. Travis had taken Atromitos on the biggest trip. Which was quite dangerous. Because doing this was his helplessness. And that chemical box that we have come to find. Even after taking it, there was a debate among the people of Atromitos. That's why I think the company's manager. Whatever he has told us about the chemical box. It is not true. Or even if it is true, it is incomplete. Then she sees a hidden message on the wall. Which was a chemical formula of something like water. Of such a chemical. Which is very easily attached to foreign things. On the other hand. There was a drawing of water. By which Iris tells. That you remember. Travis had taunted me. So actually he did not taunt me. But put it behind me. The water filter machine was British. Anyway, whatever it is. I have come to this conclusion. That whatever the chemical is, it is very dangerous. And it has something to do with water. Which is a threat to people like us and humans. On which the commander says. Either bring some proof of all this. Or open Travis's mouth. Take information from him. Then she goes back to Travis. And says that tell me everything. On which again. He starts talking about books. And also. Because of that chemical box. Everyone will be killed. He also starts laughing loudly. Because of which Iris gets so angry. That she leaves from here. During this time. Iris and the senior. Both have strange things. Iris's hand was shaking. So the senior was talking. Now the doctor tells the commander. That if the chemical box was left in space. Then it would have fallen on the earth of the big planet. But it would not have broken. Because that box. Was made in a special way. And without the knowledge. It would be very difficult to break that box. That is why. He can still be safe. Now looking at the situation. The commander agrees. That somehow. Get information from Travis. Otherwise. Why not kill him? Then Iris. Comes to Travis. And asks. Tell me quickly. Where is the chemical box? Otherwise the senior. Will hit you very badly. And will make you bleed. Now first. He does not give any answer. He sees that the senior is hurting the robot's hand. And then, as soon as he was about to break the robot's head, then Travis says, Wait, I will tell you about the chemical box. I will give you all the information about that box. But first, let me fix my robot. Now the doctor talks to his friend again and hugs him. His friend also comes into the conversation. That is why he does not stop him. Seeing this, the commander gets so angry that he goes and beats the doctor. But the senior saves his fight and tells him the information that he got from Travis. With the help of the information, he finds out about that place where that box is. But when he goes to that place, he finds out that box. But when he checks that place, he does not find anything there. 
the commander says that the doctor and I go down and find the box and bring it with us. Meanwhile, Iris comes to Travis with the equipment to fix the robot. And like before, keeps answering questions. Travis says that I had sent the bodies and the chemical box to that big planet. I had erased the memories of Atromitos and this robot. But in the end, I could not finish myself. Actually, there was a chemical box. And in that chemical box, all this happened. Because I could not forget that mess. That is why I made it on every wall here. So that the people who come here, they themselves get to know about the mess. Because whatever mess, problem, problem, was here, it cannot be told by the time. Actually, when that chemical box was being brought inside the ship. So, with someone's clothes, that chemical also came inside and mixed in the water. Because of which, all the water here became dangerous and people were dying. But the manager, very easily, with a light mouth, said that you have a machine to filter the water. You, through that, fix the water. Meaning, remove the chemical from inside the water. Which means, it was clear that the manager already knew about this. Later, he tells that our people sat in two groups. And those people who knew that this chemical is so dangerous not to take it on this land. His manager's companions killed them. And only I have survived. Because I was not on anyone's side. But then, someone was killing the remaining people. Now, the lab in which GC humans were made. Meaning, that company, they want to kill humans. This was the reason that the manager is ordering this box again and again on the ground. Because, through this, he wants to kill all of humanity. They want to kill humans. So that, humans, which GC humans, will have the opportunity to die. And they'll kill them all. The DR's friend immediately tries to stop him. But, Travis can't stop. Even, AM, his companions, know he can't. And he's E. And E. Magic. Please, alright. All I know is that this is the magic which he wishes for. No one will ever be able to stop it. Because God told them they are punished. Using there that what should be done. On which the senior says that we do this let's cure Travis's own blood. Because he is also a human but a problem. By doing this, Travis will be killed. Hearing this, Iris says that before doing anything we should wait for the commander and doctor to come back. Who has gone down to look for the chemical box. Now after a while when they come back they start talking to each other that what should be done to save their own life. And then finally, they agree to this that we will remove Travis's blood and cure ourselves. Because to save a person's life, he can't die. That's why the senior goes to take Travis's blood. Now they come to know from Travis's statement that all the people who were killed after the Atromedy were not killed by anyone but this robot. At this time, the robot wakes up and attacks the senior and grabs his throat. Then, as everyone reaches there with their girls, the senior also wakes up. Travis had run away with him. Now they hear a voice from which the doctor goes to check. But when he comes back, he is very surprised and sad to see that his dear friend has been killed by that robot. Now he was so angry that despite Iris's refusal he goes alone to look for the robot. He then meets him in the room with the luggage. But where she was first innocent, quiet, and she had become so fierce that she starts fighting a lot. Because the doctor competes with him and kills him. But she hits him a lot and finally kills him. Now Travis finds Iris from behind and wakes her up with a gun. Now the commander comes here and attacks Travis too. Now when the robot comes here, she understands that Iris is also awake. That's why she passes by him. But actually it was just a trap to trap him. The commander had actually caught Travis so that he could control the robot. After which the commander and Iris
virus attack the electricity part of the spaceship. By doing this, the electricity falls on the robot and it starts falling. Now later the commander thinks of killing Travis because he had made a change in the robot on which he says that no, I did not do anything like that. Now here Iris changes her decision. She kills the commander instead of Travis. Iris then tells that 98% of the people have made a mistake. I am also in the remaining 2%. There was no change in me. And Iris had left Travis alive because she had not made a change in the robot. She wanted to know from the beginning who had made the change and how was she able to lie. That's why she asks Travis about it. On which he tells that actually the robot wanted her and me to be like each other and come close to each other. That's why she had not made a change in herself. But I did not know that she would become so dangerous and her programming would also change. To get answers to these questions, we have to go to the Earth. Now Iris sends Travis to the Earth through a small spaceship. Whatever happened here, she says to tell everything because she herself wants to stop here and kill herself. She says that I am like this because once in my childhood I killed someone because of anger. Now as soon as Travis goes away from here, she destroys this spaceship by dropping it on the big planet so that she can get rid of the danger. With this, the movie ends here.